January 15th of 2011 was the last time Corey Law had a double-double against the Cadets. Certainly on pace for that tonight. Shaney goes to the baseline and loses the handle. Looked like he just slipped and lost control. Okoye now straight to the bucket. Two bunnies we've seen Okoye miss right in a row. And Edwards with the big block. Here comes Law in transition, finds McGoy! And Corey Law's got 11. Just a great connection, and Corey Law jumped through the roof on that one to catch that pass. Certainly got the Panther faithful up and off their feet. But Covington goes right back to work for two. And that's a huge basket because it quiets the crowd way down here in the middle center. Panthers with their largest lead of the ball game, 63 to 45. And I thought McGoy was going to go right back to it. Looked like he had Law on the lob again. So McGoy's now got seven. And they're going to call the foul on McGoy. It'll be his second, team second. So we take a look at that lob from McGoy to big man Corey Law. Just unbelievable. Look at the vertical leap by Law and just the throw down with authority. Brandemir McCoolich has checked in to replace Alan Chaney. And Glade has checked in to replace Goy, or Gore, excuse me. And Austin, the Panthers have improved upon their 67% field goal percentage so far in the second half. Well, now shooting 69% as Covington has four in a row. Covington's now got 12 on the night, so we're seeing a lot of nice moves there from DJ Covington. And Edwards, an ill-advised three-pointer again from Darrell Edwards. And Scott Jerry just shakes his head to that one. Not a good shot from Edwards. Panthers have come out of the gate firing here in the second half. Now up 18. Timeout on the floor. Our score, high point 65. VMI 47 here on the Big South Network presented by State Farm. We welcome you back into the Middle Center. Panthers up by 18 on the cadets. Austin Ford, my partner Kevin Russell along with you. And Kevin, again, a couple things really starting to stand out as we take a look at the stat sheet here going into the second half. I mean, you look at the stat sheet and you see high point up 12 to 5 in fast break points against VMI, the, the, probably the best running gun team in the country. I, I can't imagine they get beaten the fast break too often, so great stat there from the Panthers, beating them at their own game 12 to 5. But more importantly, 40 points in the paint for the Panthers and 24 of those coming off the bench. Just, just a great offensive night. You're going to have nights like these, and the Panthers – are starting to find that offensive rhythm. I know in the middle of the season when they had that, I think it was four game losing streak in the middle of their non-conference schedule, they struggled from the field, but I think they're starting to find their shots, starting to really understand Coach Cherry's offense and how, how you get easy shots, and it's really proven off, proven here tonight. Carr is checked back in for the Cadets. Is Oh, as well as Tim Marshall, excuse me. Lorenzo Cugini also on the floor, and that's going to be a turnover. Great effort there for Jer Sims. So McCoolidge, Sims, Cugini, Weary, and Law, the five on the floor. For the Panthers, Carr, Marshall, Okoye, and Glade, and Covington, the five on the floor for the Cadets. This is the time where VMI could cut into the lead and make Coach Cherry go back to Brown and Chaney. They're going to need a huge couple minutes from McCoye. McCoolich into the post, finds Weary. Adam can't knock down the open perimeter, Jay. He was open, good shot. A good find there from Marshall, who quickly just came right into the front court and found Covington. As Wallace will get set to check in. I mean... You go back to that shot by Weary, and, and it's not necessarily the shot you're looking for, but if you're open, you have got an 18-point lead. You know, you can try and knock a three-pointer down there. I, I have no problem with that. Second foul against Corey Law, third team foul on the Panthers as Devontae Wallace checks in to replace Weary. McCoolich down deep. Great defense there against Anglade. McCoye can make the second one, and Wallace with the board. High point looks to push. Cugini with a nice finish. And that's the athleticism and ability to finish. We thought we'd see at Cugini more this season, but 
Panthers are so deep, he's had limited minutes. Covington tries to show off the mid-range as McCoolich wraps up the rebound. Panthers on top by 20. 14.30 to go in this second half of play, and Coach Cherry instructing his senior point guard to slow the tempo a little bit. And you got to think that Coastal Carolina tape was watched heavily by the Panthers. They're running a lot of the same offensive sets that the Chanticleers ran so successfully, and it's really paying off. Corey Law steps out from the perimeter. Certainly not the shot you want to see, and Coach Cherry just doesn't know what to say to Corey. You don't expect to see Corey shoot that ball from outside and quickly gets the pull by John Brown. And that's not surprising to see him get pulled, but shot clock winding down, what else do you want him to do? You know he, he's not the best dribbler in the world, so trying to attack the basket might not have been the smartest thing either. So just a tough spot, but they can laugh about it now because they're up 20. Brown checks in for Marshall on the VMI side. And that's a smart pullout by Cugini, giving it up to Sims. He was trying to force that ball into Brown, but that's a good move to pull it back out and reset. Brown wasn't open. Panthers content to move the ball around against this zone. And that's a practice J right there for Devontae Wallace as he's now got 11. And I think now you've got four Panthers in double figures, so just great balance tonight. And you've got nine guys who have scored all together. Just a very strong performance. This is a VMI team, though, that knows how to score. So you don't want to see the Panthers call off the dogs just yet. Oh, absolutely. You, you cannot let up for the Panthers. I mean, 23 points for the Cadets. They could get in about six minutes. John Brown on the post on Gore. Went high off the glass and misfired. Covington with the rebound. And Brown with a very ill-advised pass. And there's the other Brown. Man, he gets up quick. And showing no ill signs of being tired right there as he elevated and exploded to the rim. We thought Carr was maybe going to try to knock that ball away or foul him.